2019, what a year. For Britain continued our incredible journey, making huge advances, including winning our first elections. We beat all other parties right across the country. We beat Labour in its heartlands. We beat the Tories on Tory councils. We have every reason to be tremendously proud. In 2019, we continue to stand by our convictions and stand our ground against all opponents. And we'll do it again in 2020. This year also revealed what many of us fear, that Britain's powerful are dragging our country closer and closer to outright totalitarianism. A government commissioned report by Sarah Khan declared us guilty of so-called hateful extremism and actively called for our democratic rights to be removed while acknowledging we have committed no crime. PayPal closed our account without warning or explanation causing problems for thousands of our members. Once again, big tech is interfering with and disrupting the democratic process, squeezing out views and policies that it doesn't agree with. But try as they might, the agents of lies and authoritarianism will not defeat us or make us retreat. In our first year, we also achieved major party status at the Electoral Commission by raising funds in excess of the amount required for this status something other small parties have failed to do despite years of trying. From a standing start, we are very proud of this and it reinforces our view that the public is ready for our party. In the coming year, we will increase our profile and continue to take the bravest positions in politics. We will speak the truth about issues others won't dare to tackle. Our 2020 manifesto, launching today at our party conference, will be the best from any political party. We reject the toxic narrative of both the far left and the far right, and simply have policies that make sense for Britain. We will stand strong for freedom, justice and democracy, the pillars of our party. We will fight for our liberties and our culture. We will go forward with positivity and belief, belief in ourselves, belief in our message, and belief in our country. We'll go forward with the knowledge that we have truth on our side, the greatest and most powerful asset we could possibly possess. We do it for the young, we do it for the old, we do it for future generations, and of course, we do it for Britain. Join us.